In this video, I'm gonna take a look at what's inside this giant box from Big Me. Hey everyone, my name's Paul Wilson and I make videos about e-learning and technology. Today we're diving into something a little different. The Big Me B13, the world's first 13.3 inch color e-paper monitor. I'll be honest, I never thought this would be a product I'd go looking for, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized how useful this kind of monitor could be. I'm very much a two monitor person. Having that second screen has become essential for my productivity. And when I travel to conferences to teach or present, I usually bring along a portable LCD monitor. But an e-paper version? Well, that's exactly what the Big B B13 is, and it caught my attention. It's a little unusual starting with its four by three aspect ratio, something you don't see too often anymore. It also delivers an impressive 3200 by 2400 resolution at 150 pixels per inch. So text looks incredibly sharp. Big Me's website advertises the B13 as blazing fast with a high refresh rate. Now, compared to typical e-paper displays on e-readers, that's true, it's noticeably quicker. But if you're used to LCD or LED monitors that refresh almost instantly, you'll definitely spot the difference. The monitor has built-in stereo speakers and a headphone jack for private listening. Big Me even includes a simple set of earbuds in the box. On the right-hand side, you'll find a power button, two USB ports, and a mini HDMI port. The package also includes a folio-style case that doubles as a kickstand, a USB cable, and an HDMI to mini HDMI cable. The B13 does require external power to operate, and Big Me provides an AC adapter with plug options for four different regions. One of the more unique accessories is the remote control. It lets you power the monitor on and off, mute audio, adjust brightness, and even refresh the screen to eliminate ghosting. There are presets for image, video, web, and text modes, plus a full on-screen menu for fine-tuning brightness, front light, volume, mirror cast, and G-Sensor settings. You can also control the volume directly from the remote. I did a bit of experimenting with different connectivity setups, and here's what I found. The touchscreen doesn't always play nicely when you have lots of peripherals plugged into your computer. And unlike some LCD monitors, you can't power it with just a single USB-C cable. It always needs to be plugged into that power adapter, no matter how minimal your setup is. Probably the most remarkable feature is the touchscreen itself. Even if your computer doesn't have touch capabilities, the B13 adds that functionality. You can pinch to zoom, scroll, and interact with content using your fingers whether it's a web browser, an office document, or other applications. So who exactly is this monitor for? I think it's ideal for people who spend long hours reading or reviewing text, researchers, editors, or knowledge workers who want to reduce eye strain but still stay portable. It could also be great for teachers and presenters who need to keep notes visible for extended periods without the glare or fatigue of a backlit display. That said, this isn't a budget option. At around 700 US dollars, you'll need a pretty compelling reason to invest. For comparison, a basic LCD monitor like the one I usually travel with costs around $100. So it really comes down to your workflow and how much value you get from the comfort and clarity of e-paper. The Big Me B13 is definitely a unique device. It's not going to replace the traditional monitors for everyone, but for the right person, it could be a game changer. If you'd like to see more hands-on testing and real-world use cases, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my follow-up videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.